Hi, this is Eric from Otoy. In this video series, I'll be taking you to the basics of working with Octane 3.08 for Maya, and I'm using Maya 2018 in these videos. So these videos are designed to help flesh out some of the things that you'll see in the documentation. It's a good idea to make sure that you also read the documentation, don't rely just on the videos, since this is just meant to give you added information. The support files that I demonstrate for in each video are available and you can open them up and use them and follow along if you want. Just make sure when you download the files and you start following along, make sure you set your current Maya project to the correct project. So I'm going to set this to the Spaceport Maya project. So that's that contains all the scene files and textures and other resources related uh, to the projects. So make sure you set your projects so everything renders correctly. So Octane for Maya is a plugin that allows you to render your Maya scenes using the GPU based renderer Octane. Octane is physically accurate and it is rendered using your machine's graphics card. And as you can see it's very fast and you can actually render while working in the perspective view here or any of the panel views. Or you can also render using the preview window and of course you can do batch renders on things like animation. So we'll be covering all those techniques uh, within this course. Now when you use Octane, you have to download and install both Octane Standalone and the Octane for Maya plugin. This is what the Octane Standalone uh, interface looks like. We won't be talking too much about using Standalone because this course focuses almost entirely in Maya but you do have to do have both installed and in a couple of videos we'll talk a little bit about working with standalone as well as the plugin uh, for Maya. So these videos are not necessarily a replacement for the documentation. They're here to uh, augment the documentation uh, and just provide a little bit more information and some examples in real time working with Maya. But I would strongly encourage you to check out the documentation which you can find on the Otoy website. So it's otoy.com. If you go to support documentation down here, you'll see the manuals for all the various plugins, including the documentation for Octane for Maya. So we open that up here. We can see we have an entire uh, book here online that goes through all the various settings. So make sure that you peruse the documentation and read up on all the various settings in addition to watching these videos, because the videos are not going to cover every single feature in uh, Octane for Maya, just enough to get you started. The videos have been grouped into uh, lessons. You don't necessarily need to watch them in order if you don't want to, uh, but we'll be covering various things such as working with uh, Octane environments, rendering here in the perspective view, working in Hypershade using Octane nodes, which you'll find down here once the plugin is installed, and rendering images, rendering sequences, rendering for compositing, and other good stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy this video series, and I hope you find it informative and helpful.